Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tastytutes.com. In this tutorial I will be covering how to create a custom brush in Adobe Photoshop and tweak the brush settings to further customize the brush. If you have arrived here looking for a quick solution I suggest you skip ahead now where I'll be demonstrating exactly how to create the custom brush. But first, I want to quickly cover some brushes I have created earlier to introduce exactly what we will be covering. For this tutorial, you will need the Layers panel open, the Brush panel, and also the Brush Presets panel. You can see I've already got these open here. If you don't have them, you can come to Window and select them in the menu below. So, as you can see, here. We have five custom brush examples which I created earlier. These brushes were created from a single shape. This star shape here we have to the left. So you can see from one single shape we can create various different styles and customizations. So why create a custom brush? Well it might make it easy to create certain types of artwork. Maybe you want to create a starry sky. For example, let's open up this document. And why copy and paste lots of individual stars when you could use a custom brush? For example, let's choose a brush from our brush presets. Let's try this one. And if I just draw on the canvas here, you can see that I'm generating lots of, lots of stars. So it's quite quite convenient if you wanted to do this type of thing. If we come down and select one of our pre-made brushes and we come up and click the brush panel and let's look at all the presets for this we can see the current settings and all the levels of customization that can be done such as the shape dynamics, the scattering, the texture etc etc. I'll be touching on this a little bit later when I do actually go ahead and create the brush so you can learn about this as I create the brush. So let's go ahead and create our brush now. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my composition here where I drew my custom shape and I'm just going to select this layer and as you can see it's it's the star layer which I drew earlier on just using some of the Photoshop tools very simply. I'm going to copy it, I'm just going to press select all and copy. I'm going to create a new document by pressing command N and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a document 100 pixels by 100 pixels I'm going to make it 72 dots per inch. So now we've got a square and I'm just going to press command V to paste and I'm going to press command T because this shape that we've just pasted in is, is quite big. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit and scale that down to fit in our canvas. Zoom in a little bit. Let's move that into place. So now if we look in the layers panel we have our custom shape on top as a single solid layer. It must be solid. It can't don't merge it with the layer below otherwise you'll end up with a brush which is a white square with the star in the middle so just keep it on a transparent layer and with the layer selected we are going to come up to edit and we're going to come down to define brush presets and let's call this star brush okay and also you'll notice that um, you will have a little graphic representation of your brush here to the left and a number underneath. This is 99 and that is mean that means that the brush size will be 99 pixels. So let's just go ahead and click that. So now we have our new brush. If we click on our brush presets and we scroll to the bottom, we can see that our brush is right at the bottom of the pile. As you create new brushes, they seem to emerge at the bottom of the pile. Everything's greyed out at the moment. That is because we need to activate our brush tool. So I'm going to press B and now I can select the brush. 
Now let's create a new document so I can test this brush out. So I'm going to press Command N. I'm going to create a new canvas. And let's go to the preset of international paper. Let's choose an A4. And let's just change the resolution of that to 150. OK. Um, let's just rotate that canvas there by 90 degrees. And let's choose a color. So let's go for a, let's go for a purpley type color. It doesn't really matter, but for this example, I'm going to choose purple. And I'm just going to start to draw on the canvas. And there you have it. This is the default settings for our custom brush. So you can see that it is literally our star joined together to create the line. I'm going to press Command Z to undo that. Now, what if I if I don't want any spaces between the stroke or the line rather? So let's come to our brush panel, and if I click on brush tip shape, you can see that we've got some properties here that we can toggle, such as we can decrease the size, we can toggle the size, and this one at the bottom here is spacing. So we can toggle this. If I pull it all the way to the left, you can see that when we draw, we've got no spacing in between. This undo that. And if I toggle the spacing right, you can see that we can generate a line with some spaces in between. Nice. You'll also find that we have some other properties that we can toggle. If I click on shape dynamic, this one's quite interesting because we can toggle the jitter and the minimum jitter. And if we just toggle a few of these, we can even toggle the angle. So we can randomize the angle and randomize the size in between. So that's quite interesting. I'll undo that. If we come to scattering, we can also toggle, well, toggle the scattering. And we can toggle the count so we can add more stars. So let's try this. And there you go. Um, let's undo that and try and push the scattering out a little. And let's come back to the, the brush tip shape. Push the spacing out. So we can really begin to create a very custom brush. Now, with all those changes that we just made, what we can do, if we want to save this as a different brush, we can simply come up to the menu in the top right hand corner of our brush panel and we can actually it's the brush preset panel and we can click down and we can just click new brush preset and let's call this star brush 2 okay so now what you'll find if we look closely in the brush presets we have the original brush that we created so that it was that one with the, the default settings and I'm just going to undo that. And if we click underneath now, we have our new brush with all the settings that we just created. So if I toggle the settings of this again, let's bring the spacing down. Let's put the size down. Let's change a few of the shape dynamics, things like that. And we come over to our brush presets and create a new brush preset. Let's call this star brush. For you will see that now we have another brush. So that's how you can create custom brushes in Adobe Photoshop. A quick introduction there. I didn't cover all the settings, so I suggest you have a play around and see what you can come up with. Just before I leave, I want to show you another custom brush. If I'm just going to open another file here. And here we have a shape of an ant. So if I can zoom into there, we can see that this is sim very similar to how we created the star. If we look in the layers, we have our ant silhouette on a separate layer. If I come to edit, define brush presets, let's call this ant brush. Okay, let's come back to our canvas here. Create a new layer. Let's just fill this in white quickly. Merge that down. And let's create a new layer and select my new ant brush. You can see that we can let's change it to black. We have our ants there, but if I toggle the brush settings, let's toggle the shape dynamic, 
try the size jitter scattering you can see that we can actually have a bit of fun with various different brushes let's get some bigger ones in there so in a few seconds we can end up with a, a thousand ants and that's how easy it is how long did that take what 20 30 seconds well there you have it that's how you create a custom brush I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial so have fun guys and I'll see you next time.